I'm going to show you how to build a simple drip campaign. The kind of drip campaign you might want to use for, say, a welcome email series. So log into Salesforce and find your way to Pardot and then go to Automations. The first thing that shows up when you click on Automations is the Engagement Studio. This is the tool you're going to use to build out any sort of uh, customer journey or series of messages or steps. So go ahead and create Add Engagement Campaign. And we'll call this welcome series. So this might be a good series of emails I want to send somebody once they you know, fill out a form or sign up for our newsletter. So you can put it in a folder if you'd like, add a description. But one of the most important areas here is recipient list. So what list of people do I want to put on this engagement program? Now, anybody who gets added to this list in the future is going to automatically uh, start going into this engagement program once we activate it. So select a list. All of your dynamic and static lists will show up here. So in this case, I'm going to choose monthly newsletter. If they sign up for the newsletter, I want to send them a series of emails. You can also add lists as suppression lists if you want to, uh, and that just acts as a filter. Anybody who's on the suppression, suppression list will not uh, join this nurture campaign, um, even if they're on that recipient list. Beneath that, you can control some settings around when these emails will go out. It's very possible, based on your delays between the steps, that um, an email send might fall on a Saturday or a Sunday. Um, by default, this is set up just Monday through Friday. So if that happens, it'll wait until Monday morning to send out that next email. I'm going to hit Save. And here we've got our engagement program canvas. Now we can actually start uh, adding steps. So click the little plus and click on action. Scroll all the way to the bottom to the send email action and choose which email template you want to send. So I just have the one test email template at this point. Uh, and we'll go ahead and send that, send, send that immediately. So as soon as they sign up for that monthly newsletter, let's send them this first message. So now I've got a plus above and beneath that first action. The start is at the top, the end is at the bottom. And so it's the prospect is going to go through each of these steps in order from top to bottom. So let's add a second email by clicking the plus right below our first email. We'll make it, you know, another action, same thing as last time, send email. You can choose your next email template. And now let's add a wait time. So I'm going to add seven days. So this means that seven days are going to elapse between when that first email is sent and the second email is sent. Let's do that again. So they got an email immediately, then they got an email a week later. You know, let's add 30 days to the third email. Seems like a good cadence. All right, so here is our welcome engagement program. They get added to the newsletter, they get three emails, the first one, seven days later, the second one, 30 days after that, they get the third one, and then it's over. So once you're happy with your emails and your steps, go ahead and test this engagement program by going into the test tab here and clicking begin test. So this just illustrates uh, or gives a scenario of when each of these emails or steps is going to be taken. And you can see those dates here. So if somebody joined this list on April 9th, they would have gotten that final email on May 18th. Then when you're happy with it, click the start button and it'll be live. Anybody who's on that list is going to enter this engagement program and go through these steps. And moving forward, anybody who gets added to that list will also go through this program. And that's it. Pretty simple. So I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video.